Hey, what's up guys? I'm finally back in the YouTube world. I just built a brand new rig, got a new computer now, and it just took me forever to get everything set up so I can start making videos again. And uh, yeah, I ran into some capture card problems, but I'll just tell you guys that in a different video. Anyway, straight to business. Street Fighter V news. So, the Halloween patch rolls out today, and because of that, the servers will be down from uh, 10 a.m. Pacific time to 6 p.m., uh, as well as the Overwatch Halloween patch comes out today as well. Okay, so this Halloween patch has uh, includes seven costumes for seven characters. Alex, Jury, Ryu, Kami, Vega, Nikali, and Nash, which we talked about before. These go for $4 each, and you can only buy them with real money. You cannot use fight money, and apparently there's no package deal discount. Very unfortunate. This also comes with the Halloween-themed Russia stage, which you can buy for fight money, 40 k or you can buy it for two bones, real money. Also, apparently there's a rumor that there might be some EX1 colors for a bunch of characters. I don't think these are the like the Japanese pre-order colors, but something entirely different. But uh, people are playing the, the newest version at the New York uh, Comic Con right now for Street Fighter V, and apparently there's EX1 colors for everyone. So that might come with the Halloween patch, but I doubt it. There's probably for a future patch. Just know that more colors for characters are actually coming. In other news, data miners have uh, you know found a leak in the latest Street Fighter V patch, no surprise there, finding more information for us. Uh, what seems to be signs of an arcade mode in the works, 2016 boys. Um, this is obviously a huge request from fans, and of course Capcom has acknowledged this, so it's definitely no surprise that Capcom is working on that arcade mode, figuring out how to get it done. Um, there's like a little screenshot preview of that, so it's definitely being worked on. I don't know if we'll see it anytime soon. I would, I would, I would hope that Capcom releases it before Season 2 and doesn't use it as some kind of leverage to get casual fans to buy Season 2 and saying like, Yo, Season 2 is coming guys, we got arcade mode. Get the game now. I really hope it's something not like that. I hope they just release this thing and just have the game completely complete before Season 2 comes out and just focus on the goodies. Uh, we also have a bunch of leaks on uh, future uh, daily challenges, missions coming out. And uh, there's nothing really worth mentioning. Uh, it's just your typical character specific stuff and really quick things. Uh, but one thing that is worth mentioning is that there is uh, a daily challenge where you have to complete survival mode on extreme with one character. Uh, so I'm sure you guys are all gonna bust out your Rashids and your Kens and your Ryus and you're gonna get her done. And hopefully when you do get her done, it uh, actually uh, you know gives you the reward for it and doesn't screw up and glitch or something like that. So yeah, it's good to be back guys. And uh, that's it for the news today. I'm going to be starting up the stream tonight. Can't wait for that Halloween patch. I'm talking about Street Fighter, not Overwatch, of course. And I'll see you guys next time.